So Harris County is also activating its emergency operations center. Our team coverage continues now with Harris County flood control meteorologist Jeff Lindner. Now, Jeff, first thing everyone thinks about when we're talking about a tropical storm uh, moving in our direction is flooding. Are the bayous ready for all of this rain? Yeah, the good news is we've been dry over the last couple of days, and so the bayous are at uh, normal or even below normal conditions right now this morning. So they'll be able to handle some of this amounts of rainfall. Of course, if we start talking 8, 10, 12 inches of rain, that is what we get concerned about, uh, the potential flooding of creeks and bayous in any of the areas. The other, the other point to bring up is, like you heard, the, the Lake Houston is being lowered to be able to handle a little bit more water. And also Attucks and Barker, the flood control reservoirs uh, maintained by the Army Corps of Engineers in the western part of Harris County are empty and have full capacity this morning. So good news, we're going into this in the right state we need to be, but the rainfall, the potential here with the rainfall to, rainfall to overwhelm our systems is there as we get into tonight and tomorrow morning. That being with that in mind, you know, parents or faculty with schools, they're all watching this morning and, and wanting to hear your advice. Um, what would you what would you tell families at this point or, you know, it, it, teachers and staffing at schools, you know, especially looking forward to the forecast for tomorrow and Wednesday? Yeah, the, the, the real main concern is going to be late this afternoon, as you were showing there on the on the on the TV, on the model that late this afternoon into tonight, really tonight, and early on Tuesday, that is the big concern for heavy rain across the area um, and, and the potential for flooding. And, and like y'all mentioned, those hourly rainfall rates, two, three, four inches per hour can quickly get us into trouble. And so really monitoring things tonight uh, and into tomorrow morning. And, and, and I think tonight and tomorrow morning is going to be a pretty rough period for us here. Uh, in Houston Galveston area. You know what we've been saying all morning long tonight. If you can get to where you're going to kind of hunker down overnight, wait for the sun to come up tomorrow morning and then we'll let you know how those roadways are looking. But uh, Jeff Linder, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Of course, we're going to stay on top of this team coverage and guys, it just continues to involve. It's interesting that the track did speed up overnight. So I think in the big picture of a three day period, that's good news. However, just like Jeff was talking about, as far as the next 24 to 36 hours goes, it's those rainfall rates of one to four inches of rain. It's still going to create high water spots, and we're still anticipating that overnight. So tonight and into tomorrow morning will be our highest flood, our flash flood risk. Yeah, so hopefully people who can work from home definitely do that. Especially tomorrow. tonight and tomorrow morning. That's okay, right. Cheetah. All right, got it. Our team coverage continues in Galveston County for you this morning. That's where we find our Michelle Choi. Michelle, how are officials there preparing for this storm? Kim and Steph, you know, officials here in Galveston County aren't taking any chances. It's why crews began preparing over the weekend to be ready for whatever tropical storm Nicholas might bring, which is expected to be a lot of rain. Now this morning, crews were back out here early, guys, before sunrise to finish up those last minute preps, including a large lifeguard tower that was located behind me here along 61st Street Fishing Pier and the seawall. Now take a look at what else folks have been doing to prepare uh, from businesses blocking storefronts with sandbags to along the beach. Galveston Beach Patrol was busy moving towers and clearing the sand yesterday. Galveston's Office of Emergency Management has also deployed high water assets like these high water rescue trucks ahead of Nicholas, which again is expected to bring a lot of rain and flash floods along the southeast coast. Now rain combined with a storm surge are the two biggest threats and concerns for officials here. A lot of tropical storms produce a lot of rain for us, um, and that's really the big threat. Mainly going to be how much coastal flooding we get and how much rain we get on top of that, that might cause some serious issues and disruptions within uh, the downtown area, particularly. Now back out here live along the seawall, guys. Right now we're getting a break from the rain, which has been on and off, but out there on the water, you can see the waves are picking up. Now, of course, I will be out here all morning monitoring the conditions in Galveston and keep you guys posted on the changes. Kim. Michelle, we'll check back in with you in about 30 minutes. Thank you. Now let's get to our Brittany Ford live for us and the weather tracker. Brittany, where are you right now? 
Well, Kim, good morning to you. Right now we're on Highway 146. Just came out of League City, Clear Lake. I'll let you take a look here. Road still looking very well, fairly well. As we mentioned, this seems to be drivable rain at this point. You can see those sprinkles there still on our wind our windshield. But these are the areas, Friendswood, Perlin, League City, that we're really seeing that first round of rain come in. Those scattered showers and outward bands of Tropical Storm Nicholas that Cheetah has mentioned, where we really saw a good downpour just about 30 minutes ago when we checked in with y'all was Friendswood. It really came down. There was a good downpour that came down in that area. So if you were in the Friendswood area hitting the roadways, I would say that's probably where you might see some slick spots. But again, setting the stage for what we're expected to see here through the afternoon when this rain really ramps up. But so far, so good out here on the roads. We'll continue to monitor, the, monitor these problem spots for you. I'll send it back to you. All right, Brittany, thanks. We'll see you in again in about 30 minutes. Your power companies are also keeping a close eye on Tropical Storm Nicholas. We got emails from Texas, New Mexico Power, Entergy and Centerpoint, Texas, New Mexico Services, Brazoria and Galveston counties. The company says it's preparing for possible power outages and they're adding additional crews to the Gulf Coast region to be ready. Entergy also says its crews and contractors are on high alert and are ready to restore power in case of outages. And Centerpoint sending a similar message. They're monitoring the storm and crews are ready to deal with electric or natural gas issues that may arise. They also sent out flooding safety tips and we have some of those on our website at KHOU.com. All right, 611 this morning, we are already starting to see the outermost bands of Tropical Storm Nicholas. And when we're talking about those power outages, it is because of how saturated the grounds will be. So this morning, scattered on and off light showers, pockets of some moderate downpours, but the heaviest rain is not here yet. In fact, I think we'll get through the, the half, first half of the day today with just kind of light, maybe pockets of moderate rain before the heaviest rain settles in by the afternoon and evening tonight and then overnight. So over the next day, so today's rain, rainfall accumulations between two to four inches of rain with heavier right along the coastline. And that's what we've always anticipated. The big picture for our three day period rain accumulations have dropped just a little bit through Wednesday, but it's the wind gusts today and tomorrow with saturated grounds that that's potentially stuff what could create these power outages. And then, you know, that impacts traffic. Those uh, traffic lights will be going in and oh, out. Oh my goodness, and it creates the worst backup.